afternoon from the newsroom. A number of arrests have been made in Dublin at a demonstration by anti-war protesters in O'Connell Street, where the former British Prime Minister Tony Blair spent over two hours signing copies of his autobiography. Scuffles broke out as Mr Blair arrived under tight security for the book signing. Hundreds of people queued in Middle Abbey Street alongside Easton's this morning, waiting to get their copies of Mr Blair's autobiography signed. In O'Connell Street, hundreds of anti-war protesters jeered and chanted as Mr Blair arrived. He was escorted into Easton's under tight security to meet staff and begin the book signing. But outside in the street there were scuffles as a group of protesters tried to break through safety barriers but were prevented by Gardaí. Several arrests were made and there were further confrontations as some people sat down in the street and tried to prevent Garda vans carrying those who were arrested from leaving. Security has been tight for Tony Blair's visit to Dublin, his first public appearance to promote his autobiography and protests were expected. We're here to give a voice to the victims of Blair's policies and his wars, the countless tens of thousands of Iraqis and Afghanis who died as a result of the wars he launched and the lies that he told to the world and indeed the Palestinian people who continue to suffer at the hands of Israel where Tony Blair's EU Middle East envoy does nothing to restrain or sanction Israel, in fact gives cover to Israel for its actions. Inside, there were strict rules for the book signing. No photos, no personal dedications. Since being published earlier this week, Mr Blair's book, A Journey, has become a bestseller. Beth Ann Kilfoyle, RT News, O'Connell Street, Dublin.